Hello and welcome. So today I've decided uh, that I'm gonna obviously show you guys how to uh, print one of these off for yourself. Um, this is the module that we're using inside. Managed to get five of them for around about six pounds. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I, th I think these are rated for 15 watts, but I'm not sure whether they they probably pull in 15 watts. Uh, the downside with these is they do get pretty hot. You've got these uh, driver chips here, but it's these ones here, the smaller. They're either MOSFETs or transistors here. These three tend to get pretty, pretty toasty, and so does the board. Um, so what I did is I actually, uh, a little while ago, I bought some um, heat sinks, which are, I think they're about a centimetre by a centimetre, and they're uh, black anodized. Um, so what I did is, obviously I couldn't stick them on here because of these raised chips as you can see. They're just slightly raised so they'd be just off of these. And not only that, you've got the potential of it to shorten out the uh, capacitors there. So uh, what I had to do was stick them onto this side of the board. Well, it still works, still gets the heat out of the board. But these do get really hot. Uh, I think I measured them whilst I was charging my phone. They got up to around about 72 degrees, which to the touch is quite quite hot. Um, hence why I built this. Uh, I have bought these wireless chargers before, not the actual modules that I've got here, but the actual ones that come in the plastic cases. And uh, I had my phone on charge for about half an hour. When I went to pick it up, my finger actually pushed through the plastic at the bottom because it had gotten that hot. It was literally melting, which is the reason I don't like using wireless chargers. Um, and the reason why I've designed this. Um, basically, what's happening is the air's been blown throw air from the fan, it's coming through this and then out these cooling vents at the front so the air is passing over not only just the top of the chips of the board but they're actually passing over the heat sinks that's stuck to the back of this one as well I haven't actually got any to show you the heat sinks but they do fit on here pretty perfect you want to make sure that the uh, the grill, grill lines on them are actually going with the flow so they want to be going this way this direction because if you have them the other way they're not going to pass through the, uh, the actual heat sinks properly but they should fit. Uh, I think they're about half a centimeter in the actual height of the uh, of the actual things themselves. Um, so basically, uh, I'll just chuck this on, just show you that it's working. I should get some lights on here somewhere. Is it this side? Is that side? Yeah, and as you can see now it's just charging up and it's pulling 2.3, 2.4, it will steadily increase uh, they are capable of charging, I won't say fast, but faster than most normal ones um, so yeah it's charging up pretty good, I mean this is pretty much full anyway so it's not going to pull any more than that but I have seen it go as high as about 3 amps when I've been doing my phone itself um, and obviously the it's got built-in LEDs. I like I share. I'll plug this one in and show you afterwards. Uh, the uh, I've actually put this on Thingiverse, the design for this, and I will link it in the description as well. So uh, should you want to print one of these out, you can. Um, I've actually made some adjustments as well because this board was pretty tight fit in there, and obviously with the uh, the heat sinks on as well, I was unable to put the back onto this. So I had to just put a piece of card on it just to help with the airflow. So obviously you want that sealed underneath to help make sure the air is coming this way out. Um, the only thing I'd probably change is I'd probably put a slight, a slight increase in the length of the top part just to give it a slight angle, because obviously you've got the potential when you're putting. I mean something like this. I mean it's rounded anyway, so it's not such a big deal when you're putting that on there. There's still air still managing to flow out the sides here, but if you're putting a phone with a phone case on and things like that, there's a good chance you can block them vents. Um, but it does keep it pretty cool. I mean, I've never, I've not felt no heat from this, and I've had my phone on charge quite a few times, so it is actually doing the job. Obviously, the uh, it's using a micro USB on the side of these ports. Obviously, you can see it better on here. And get it to focus in. If you don't want to, but it's micro USB. So, like I say, the the files will be on. Uh, I think it's thingy, but yeah, Thingiverse. The files are on Thingiverse for this, so you can just download it. Uh, it should print on anybody's printer. Shouldn't be any big deal. One thing I also had to do as well is that these wires themselves, 
this is why you're probably going to need a little bit of electrical knowledge of like soldering and things is that I had to extend these slightly as well because once you put them in there obviously you want this as far out as possible down to the bottom and once that board's in there you see it don't uh, it don't allow for much play and it's hard to get this part in it is a pretty pretty tight fit at the bottom here as well where that connector goes in uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's uh, trying to get this to focus which is uh, easier said than done because it's wanting to focus in on there put on there look you can just see there's like little lips that bend outwards on these you can just see it there on the sides just at the top here they will push through this it's just getting the angle right and getting it to clip in and that will help hold it in its position as well and it will sit pretty flush inside and then obviously like I say you've got your two your two things on this side here, two heat sinks um, like I say you do want the anodized ones because you don't want any chance of it shorting uh, on them connector pads it shouldn't do but uh, th there is that potential so uh, I'd use some either some thermal paste uh, well it's more as the thermal compound like it's, it's the one that hardens up and keeps the heat sinks on um, failing that you could use super glue which is what I've done on that one if you want to cheat just use some super glue <coughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what pads so obviously for this fan here I'm having to take the power from this board itself uh, as you can see there we've got a you've got a V minus there which also goes through to this side so you have to remember once you've turned it this is your V minus so this side on the track here is actually positive so you can actually get a 5 volt source from there for the 5 volt fan and that will run this no problem um, so remember that one there on your right is your negative and then if you look at this part here you can see a track running down where it's separated that's actually the positive side so your red one goes to this on the left and then on the right is the negative of your fan um, also you want to make sure you're putting this in and try and keep your wires cut to size I won't cut your wires until you get it all in um, like I said I did have to extend these slightly with some uh, decent copper wire um, when I got these as well they also came correct as you can see so I actually stuck a little thin piece of card to the back just to help hold everything together you can see that there is bits of this one missing also correct because the, when they sent these they just sent them in uh, pretty much that inside of another grey bag as you get from China and uh, it was all broke apart from I think probably one of them might have a slight crack in it but they're all pretty much broke as long as these are together they should still do the job um, you can see it's not pulling anything there that's just literally a fan using that to keep it cool whilst it's plugged in this fan will pull power because like I say it's directly from these pads here and then pads are connected to the 5 volt and then the ground negative of the uh, of the USB input so whilst there's power to that, that will still run I'll just turn the power off to it obviously the fan turns off now and that's the fan I couldn't actually get these in properly um, I had to make a slight gap at the bottom um, so you want some like uh, I wouldn't say like the PC ones for like motherboards and things but uh, you want some widish screws to put them in just to hold them I've only got the two in and that seems to be holding it fine it's pretty much flush um, other than that it's straightforward so uh, like I say on this side here so you've got your negative on the right side which is the bit that's mostly on the board and if you look at this track here that's your uh, positive this side and basically once you get this in this, this will go in pretty much that way around it'll push up into this board here and if it's literally facing the way I've got it now that's the way it's facing inside and as you can see like I say them wires just ain't quite long enough so you will have to extend these so you would probably want a bit of uh, heat shrink as well when you extend them just to make sure that nothing's going to short out just do them just long enough so they're going to fit in there no problem um, I stuck that down on there as well with super glue um, but yeah so what I'll do is I'll take this one out and then I'll uh, show you what these boards look like if I can get hold of the thing easier said than done with one hand should really use the 
I'll use a camera holder, which I ain't got. Two seconds. Oh, so this is what the boards look like. So you've got them set up. LEDs are pretty bright, as you can see. I don't know why there's three on there, to be fair, but there is. Um, so I'll chuck this on here. As you can see, that's charging up now straight away. When it's charging, also you'll notice that these lights tend to like fade in and that, which is a good sign that you get in charge. So they are pretty decent boards, but this, this, these chips here will start getting hot. I'll show you that in a second. Um, just like I say, it's the reason pretty much why I'm uh, cooling them down with the fan. Try and line it up right. Take that laser off. I don't need the laser on. Like 32, 33. Just get it in the right spot, but you, that will start climbing, especially if you put on a phone on there as well. See, it's getting hotter. Like I say, uh, probably with that on, it's only pulling like 2.2 amps at the moment. So it uh, probably won't get super hot, but uh, it will be warmer than what you'd like if it was inside something sealed and plastic. Yeah, so 35, see so it's still climbing, 36, and that'll just keep going up and up and up and up and up. Hence the reason why we uh, why we made this. I like say you've got your grills there. You might get a bit of webbing depending on your printer across the... Uh, as you can see, you can sort of clear that out. I would show you the other side, but it uh, didn't come out as good. I was having some printer problems, that's why I'm getting all these weird lines here. I was actually making adjustments of the printer whilst I was printing it, and then it started lifting, which didn't help either. And it made a mess of this side. Like I say, normally my prints come out pretty uh, pretty clean, but uh, I don't know what this was all about. This is why I was having to make the adjustments. Uh, one side of my printer uh, seemed to be uh, off-leveled, even though I'd leveled it beforehand. Um, you'll see also on the actual CAD file that uh, I mean the STL file, sorry, that the uh, there is actually a back plate that you print with this. Uh, I couldn't get it on. This is why I've made the adjustments. I couldn't get it on because I didn't leave myself enough room. Um, I didn't take in consideration the time you see of putting the heat sinks on. You're going to want the heat sinks on. Uh, it'll it'll make this work a lot better and a lot cooler. Obviously, if these get hot, they're just going to wear out so fast they're just going to break in. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I say my printer's not printing too clever at the moment. So I've just stuck that on for the time being. And this, this uh, I've leveled all that out as well, you won't get none of this. Uh, some adjustments I made, so uh, I've basically risen this quite a bit. And then I've uh, done a clean cut across the, across the bottom to stop this. Stop this level in here. But the fan, the fan should still fit the same as well. Hopefully, I, I haven't tried it. I haven't printed another one out yet. Uh, I might do and just uh, show you that later. But yeah, I say the files are available. Just uh, click the links below on the description and uh, hope you have fun building it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.